Hey guys, so I wanted to make this video on Nano Dimension once again. They released two new filings on the SEC Edgar search engine for uh, publicly traded companies. So the first one we're going to look at is their Form F3. And the prospectus here is a $200 million offering once again. This $200 million offering of American depository shares each represent one ordinary share par value of $5 per share. So what is ADS exactly? ADS stands for American Depository Shares. So whenever a foreign company wants to issue new shares on an American exchange as a US dollar denominated equity, they have to issue what's called American Depository Shares. Because Nano Dimension is located in Israel and they're traded on the New York Stock Exchange, which is in US dollars, so they have to issue these. So I think this is the way for them to issue new shares in the U.S. currency. But yes, basically that's what American depository shares are. And it's not really a surprise to me that this came out about four days ago and then we have seen price fall since then. They say there's really no coincidences in life, so I think this has a lot to do with, uh, with how price is reacting. So I'm just going to read over a few key points. I won't go over the whole document, but I am going to link to it, so if you do want to read this yourself, Go to the description and click on the link there. By creating our own installed base of printers that require our own dedicated inks, we are establishing a razors and blades business model in which our customers buy the printer first and then continue to purchase the dedicated inks and maintenance over time. If we go down to the next box, we'll see this uh, next group of bullet points. We market and sell our products and services worldwide, primarily to companies that develop products with electronic components, including companies in the defense industry, including the U.S. Armed Forces, the automotive sector, consumer electronics, semiconductor, aerospace, and medical industries, and to research institutes. Our primary market is in the United States, though we have also experienced growth in Asia Pacific and Europe, and expect that trend to continue. So they aren't raising money for no reason. They are definitely going to be using this money to expand their business. Our goal is to expedite our growth and to further advance our breakthrough technologies and commercialization efforts. To achieve these objectives, we plan to increase sales. We are advancing our commercialization efforts and infrastructure and allocating more resources to activities executed by our U.S. and Hong Kong headquarters, including increasing sales manpower, increase amounts of applications and advanced electronics applicable use cases, in collaboration with our customers, create applications that can expedite the usage of our products for production grade products and consequently increase our sales. Our main focus is in collaboration with customers in the fields of automotive, aerospace, medical devices, and defense. And if I'm not mistaken, automotive is going to be a big one, especially with the EV boom that's happening right now. But anyways, moving on. Nano Dimension wants to form alliances with industry leaders. We plan to collaborate with companies in the fields of design and manufacturing in order to expedite the adoption of our technology by the market. So in this regard, let's say that Nano Dimension sells a fleet of machines to like, let's say Apple, for example. I think that would be a pretty big deal. The likelihood of that happening, I'm really not sure, but um, the possibilities are endless. Capitalize on our nanoconductive and dielectric inks and software technology products. We plan to exploit our inks as supplemental products, and supplemental products is like the gasoline to a car, to our Dragonfly LDM system. We also plan to increase the software options and enable levels of licensing that we could monetize. So here's another good one. They'll be able to monetize their software if they license it out. That's pretty good. And their strategic growth plan includes their current state, which is monetizing commercially available products and services for the additive electronics design, deliver higher speed production grade additive electronic systems and more materials and services, and two, deliver hybridized capabilities that combine mechanical functionality with electrified geometries. So I definitely think you guys should check this out. It has a lot of useful information here that you otherwise would not get anywhere else unless you read their SEC filings. And documents like these on the SEC Edgar are as close to the company as you'll get unless you know someone in the company. The SEC requires them to make these filings. So if you want information on companies you're invested in, I would highly recommend you check the SEC Edgar regularly on companies that you're invested in. In my opinion, I think this offering will uh, dilute shareholders again, and it's probably gonna bring prices down again, but I don't necessarily see this as a bad thing because they're gonna be using this money to expand their business, and the second they start to be able to prove themselves with the growing revenue figures and more and more clients are catching on to their products and services, I think they're setting themselves up really nicely to be a, a very lucrative and profitable business 
especially being first to market and really having no clear competitors. So besides this, I'm also gonna post a video on their most recent presentation that was filed recently. Their most recent 6K filing was yesterday on October 23rd. So if you wanna go ahead and look at that, I'm also gonna put a link for that. Or you can check out my next video. I'm gonna be talking about this as well. But anyways, this is something I wanted you guys to look at. Um, this is something that I think is important. There's a chance that in stock price, this might affect it negatively. But for the business, this is going to be a good thing going into the futures. So while it's not very exciting to see the price go down, it is very exciting to see the company taking steps into becoming an actual full-scale global business. And it's just going to be a matter of time at this point, as I've said. But anyways, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button and even consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit the bell notification to get notified when I make videos just like this one. But anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.